<laughs> Teamwork. And the big three makes it right in time for the fourth quarter. What it is, what it is, you guys, Kate the Former back in the building for yet another movie reaction, you guys. Today we're back in the building for Lord of the Rings, Return of the King from 2003. We made it, you guys. We made it to the end of the trilogy. Bittersweet. Actually, almost just bitter. Just only bitter. <laughs> because after this one, that's it, man. That's it. And, I mean, the last two movies have been really good to me, you know what I mean? I feel like I've really connected with the series, with the characters. But according to most of you guys, Return of the King wraps things up in a very epic way. So I'm more than excited to see that. And quite honestly, they have more than enough time to do that because I am, of course, watching the extended edition of this one. And it is it comes up to a whopping four and a half hours. Four hours in full because I think 30 minutes are just credits. I mean, really, they could have just chopped this up and made it into its own miniseries. I mean... Why not? I couldn't be more excited to get to the conclusion of this series, man. Uh, we have Sam and Frodo on their way to Mount Doom with Gollum. I uh, believe Gollum's going to pull some shady ass. Yeah, the big three kick some major ass at the Battle of Helm's Deep with King Theoden. Uh, Gandalf came through. Came through with Aylmer. Um, it, was, it was probably one of the most beautiful battle sequences. Um... I've ever witnessed in a movie. Of course, we can't forget about the ends coming through and just wreaking total havoc on Saruman's stronghold. Um, he was pissed off. It was awesome. But I can delay this no longer. We're going to get right into it. But before we do, guys, hit the like and subscribe button for your boy. Definitely check out the reaction to the first two movies. If you have not seen it yet, I'll link it at the top. And without further ado, let's do what it do. Oh, no way is that Gollum. Deagle. Smeagol and Deagle. So that's who found it at the bottom of a lake. Damn, man. That didn't take long. <gasps> Yo. The ring already has them acting like this. Come on, man. It's not worth it. Well, I guess we all knew who was going to win. Oh, my God. This is like a drug PSA, except for the ring. Don't do it, Frodo. Don't be like Smeagol. You don't want your hair to fall out. The days are growing darker. You go ahead and eat that, Mr. Frodo. I've rationed it. There should be enough. For what? The journey home. You're a good man, Sam. Damn good man. A hobbit. To Isengard! Go, you rascals! A merry hunt you've led us on, and now we find you feasting and smoking! <laughs> we are. Wood and water, stock and stone like a master. But there is a wizard to manage here. Look to his tower. <laughs> so his punk ass is hiding? We need him to talk. And you need a rematch. Can we not have peace? You and I. We shall have peace. When you hang from a gibbet. For the sport of your <laughs> own crows. We shall Damn. have peace. Tell him, King. 
gibbets and crows. Don't! Something festers in the heart of Middle-earth. Something that you have failed to see. The path that you have set him on can only lead to death. I've heard enough! Shoot him! Stick him under <laughs> his gob! No! Your staff is broken! <laughs> <laughs> Gandalf's leveled up a bit, as you can see, Saruman. Saruman, I will not be held prisoner. <laughs> oh! I didn't think Grima had it in him. Damn! I thought Saruman's gonna have more fight than that. I'll take that, my lad. Quickly now. He took that ball away from him like a mother would take away scissors from a child. Like, oh, too dangerous for you. Tonight, we remember those who gave their blood to defend this country. Hail the victorious dead. Hail! Oh, don't tell me Gimli can't keep up. Yes, the dwarves that go swimming with little hairy women. <laughs> Game over. <laughs> Legolas has to stop picking on Gimli like this, man. <laughs> what does your heart tell you? Well, you better hope so. Cause you're all screwed if he's dead. Smeagol hates nasty horses. Smeagol wants to see them. Dead. The stairs, and then up, 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 up the stairs we go, until we come to the tunnel. We will find it and take it for me. <laughs> yeah, now do you see the problem with saying your evil plan out loud? <laughs> For anything that happens to you after you trust a face that looks like that, you deserve. I dreamed I saw a great wave climbing over green lands and above the hills. The stars are veiled. Something stirs in the east. <laughs> That's not extremely creepy. Oh no, I got him now. It's like the ring. Oh no. Bro, we're three movies in and the hobbits still mess up everything. Uh oh. He's still with us? Alright, he's up, Gandalf. You could beat his ass now. I can hear his voice in my head. What did you tell him? Speak! If the beacons of Gondor are lit, Rohan must be ready for war. Tell me, why should we ride to the aid of those who did not come to ours? I ride for Minas Tirith, and I won't be going alone. I won't do it again. Don't you understand? The enemy thinks you have the ring. We'll see each other soon. Don't we? Don't know. 
What? Have they never been split up before? One thing I've learned about hobbits. They are most hardy folk. Foolhardy, maybe. We cannot delay. My lady! She made up her mind. I looked into your future and I saw death. But there is also life. Tell her about the baby. Tell about her and Aragorn's kid. If I leave him now, I will regret it forever. It is time. Literally forever. The crownless again shall be king. <laughs> Make way for Gandalf. My man probably rode that full three days, no stops. I do not mention further. Three. And say nothing about it gone either. In fact, it's better if you don't speak at all about it. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. <laughs> if he doesn't speak, he can't mess anything up. Hail Denisor, son of Exelion. Lord and steward of Gondor. Boromir died to save us. How did you escape and my son did not? The mightiest man may be slain by one arrow. And Boromir was pierced by many. A thousand years this city has stood. Now the whim of a madman it will fall. The storm is coming. This is not the weather of the world. This is the device of Sauron's making, a broil of fume he sends ahead of his host. Gondor is reacting just like Rohan did. I don't know why things have to be at their worst. And, you know, war has to be at their doorstep for these kingdoms to cooperate. So I imagine this is just a ceremonial position. I mean, you don't actually expect me to do any fighting. You're in the service of the steward now. You'll have to do as you're told, Peregrine Tuku. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Peregrine. Is there any hope, Gandalf, for Frodo and Sam? There never was much hope. Just a fool's hope. The one they say no living man can kill. The Witch King of Angmar. You've met him before. He stabbed Frodo on Weathertop. Oh, that was him? Come away! Come away! Look! No! It's Frodo! Go that way! What the hell is he doing? One of those things got him, man. One of those things got him. There it goes. I can feel his blade. Oh. Okay, Frodo, the gift that keeps on giving. If anything happens to him, you have me to answer to. And sniff something's not right. One hair stands up on the back of my head. It's over. You know the something's thing. not right. You already know. <laughs> You're gone. <laughs> He's not scared of you. Man, I wish Boromir's brother came back to deal with him. See, that's someone who could put some fear in Gollum. That's someone who put the fear of God in Gollum. <laughs> yeah, that man. Right there. Damn. I think that's your warning. Draw swords. Yo, these orcs are getting smarter, man. Sending out preemptive strikes. Stealth attacks. Oh, 
Damn. No he was nice with the blade. So they're finally about to get some help. He sees it. <laughs> it's about that time, Aragorn. And Rohan will answer. About time. <laughs> Master the Rohirrim. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> it's tradition for the women of the court to farewell the men. Yeah, farewell my ass. She's about to get down this movie. One way or another. You shall be Mariadon, Esquire of Rohan. <laughs> really? So, it is before the walls of Minas Tirith. The doom of our time will be decided. Let's go. Let's get it. Damn. Oh no. <laughs> that was already bad enough. The time of the orc has come. <laughs> Yo! All it took was a little shine from the staff. Legends of orcs are crossing the river. It is the Lord Denethor predicted. Long has he foreseen this doom. Foreseen and done nothing. <laughs> You've seen Frodo and Sam? Where? When? In Athelion. Not two days ago. I told you, man. Middle Earth is a small ass place. You sent the Ring of Power into Mordor! In the hands of a witless halfling. Not if Minas Tirith were falling in ruin and I alone could save her. My son. <laughs> oh, that's dirty. He's looking right past his other son. <laughs> that's dirty. He's a lost cause for him. Bro, Smeagol's gaslighting game is on a thousand. <laughs> the fat one will take it from you. Stop calling him the fat one. <laughs> Sam's not even fat. <laughs> I will break him. Oh, yeah? We'll see you try. Would you join the Tower Guard? I didn't think they would find any livery that would fit me. Once belonged to a young boy of the dragons, instead of attending to his studies. This was yours? Yes, it was mine. My father had it made for me. And I shall not forget it. Nor fail to reward that which is given. Kiss the ring. Osgiliath must be retaken. My lord, Osgiliath is overrun. Much must be risked in war. Bro. Wow. Yo, screw his dad, man. If I should return, think better of me, father. You're already better. It will depend on the manner of your return. It's like, damn, you have one good son alive still. Like, it's like, damn, if Boromir was so great, why is he... Never mind. Why the hell did he do that? The elven bread! What? That's all we have left. 
Come on, Sam. Connect the dots. He took it. Connect the dots. He must have. I see him. He's always stuffing his face. When oh, he no. That's a filthy lie. Yes. <laughs> Finish him. He can't help me anymore. Damn. You don't mean that. Oh man, I always knew Frodo wasn't the brightest hobbit in the village, but come on, man. He's not even in the position to be making choices like that. I mean, half the time he stays barely conscious. Do not throw away your life so rash. Exactly. Life, not here. This is the city of the men of Numenor. Make your own I'm city. I give my life to defend her beauty. Come, sing me a song. Want the dance too? God, I hope Freyma doesn't die. That was beautiful, Pippin. He won't tell you, but I'll tell you. Oh, they're rolling deep. We're rolling deep. <laughs> that road there. What is that? That is the road to the Dimwald. The door under the mountain. None who venture there ever return. some food seeing apparitions always a good sign I'm ready. <laughs> <laughs> sorry this is no I'm gonna get this boy killed <laughs> I find it so hilarious when they put the hobbits in comparison to regular sized humans war is the province of men Ewan. They're doing so much foreshadowing of her getting into battle and kicking so much ass. I can't wait to see it. sick the way he pulled that out though <laughs> you gotta admit <laughs> you know he was playing that reveal from the whole trip finally a weapon fit this? for Aragorn the war lies to the east you cannot leave on the eve of battle Basically saying he can't break two hearts. Have you learned nothing of the stubbornness of dwarves? You might as well <laughs> accept it. We're going with you, laddie. <laughs> Damn right. It's a big three for life. He leaves because there is no hope. He leaves because he must. Too few have come. I would have you smile again. Long ago, the men of the mountain swore an oath to the last king of Gondor, who shall call them from the grey twilight, the forgotten people, the heir of him to whom the oath they swore. From the north shall he come, need shall drive him. He shall pass the door to the paths of... <gasps> Damn. 
Damn. And the horses are like, screw this. Well, this is a thing unheard of. An elf will go underground when it dwarf still not. Oh. oh, I'd never hear the end of it. <laughs> Tighten up, Gimli. Come on. <laughs> Ride with me. Oh, <laughs> I knew it. <laughs> oh, that was obvious. Watch her kick some ass, man. What do you see? I see shapes of men. <laughs> He's blowing the ghosts away. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, give me hilarious. Stay light on your feet. <laughs> Do not suffer the living to pass. You will suffer me. <laughs> Speaking to him. Not another cave troll. Oh, that's worse than the cave troll. <laughs> the skull avalanche. Ah, oh, that's gross. That is gross. <laughs> oh no. They're too late. And it took you guys that long to come to that conclusion? Oh, Fairman, no! Release the prisoners! Get them up! No way! My sons. Oh, these orcs have gone disrespectful now. Full disrespect. <laughs> yes! Yeah. That's what I'm talking about! Get off the real king here! Damn! Bro, Rohan, anytime you guys want to pop up. Ben, get out of there! This is no place for a hobbit. Okay, he has that low height advantage, you know. No one can see him coming. The hell is that? It's like every other movie, these orcs come up with a new, a new weapon, a new advantage. This army. The army of the dead. We have an army of the dead. <laughs> there you go, Frodo. Heading for your doom. Yeah, your dumbass is gonna see. He's gonna find some huge ass spider monster. There it go. Oh, there it go. There it go. What the hell is that glow stick supposed to do? Oh, 
Oh, Spiegel, you're an ass. Come on, Frodo. Choke him out. Finally. Please see that fall was high enough to to end it. This task was appointed to you, Frodo of the Shire. Galadriel. If you do not find a way, no one will. She basically just told him the man up. And I concur. If I were a knight of Rohan, capable of great deeds, but I'm not. I'm a hobbit. I just want to help my friends. Frodo. Oh, damn. It's a big ass battery ram. Oh. <laughs> oh, you gotta be kidding me. Why is that thing still here? It's so quiet. God, that's so creepy. That is so. Oh, God, I hate spiders. <sighs> Sound. Oh, All right, Sam. Come on, Sam. You gotta stab it somewhere. Oh, there you go. There's one. Oh, oh no, not that thing. Oh. No way is Sam beating this mutant spider's ass. All right, get your ass back in that cave. Damn. The poison already got to him. No way. No way could they have killed off Frodo. That's how she likes to feed. Fresh blood. Get into the tower! Damn, Sam. <laughs> you have to go rescue the guy twice? Sam is some type of best friend, man.